What's going on, everyone? Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone is staying safe during quarantine. Uh, I told you I'm going to be the entertainment during quarantine, and I'm sticking to that for sure. But today, I know you guys are expecting episode number six, the profile. It's supposed to be on Jimin, but uh, that's coming very soon, so we're not pushing that to the back burner anytime. Uh, good friend of mine reached out to me. He recently got into BTS as well. His name is Anthony Aiken Jr. If you guys aren't subscribed to his channel as of yet, I probably would guarantee at the end of this video you would want to subscribe to that channel. Uh, he's a good friend. He recently started to dibble and dabble into BTS. He watched the carpool karaoke and he approached me and he had a few questions. And I was like, instead of asking me these questions on FaceTime, I was like, let's make a video. So quarantine, you got the cat webcam set up and here we are. So without further ado, this is me being the quote unquote professor, amplifying my knowledge to my student who is learning BTS for the first time. We're still taking it back to the basics. This is pretty much me putting my knowledge to the test and sharing my knowledge and my wealth that ARMY has blessed me with these comments of fulfilling my information. Hope you guys enjoy it and stay safe. What's going on, beautiful people? Hope everyone is doing well during quarantine. Uh, BTS 101 is in full sesh. BTS 101 is in full sesh. And I'm actually bringing a good person uh, that you guys should really know about he's got a youtube channel he's also starting to get into bts though i can honestly consider myself a little bit advanced but it's all very beginner so i'm just spreading the youth just spreading the wealth and just uh applying my knowledge that you guys have been teaching me along with my own research to the one and only so without further ado class is in session we got one student here and uh just introduce to the people let them know who you are hi anthony oh wait that's my name Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Anthony. I'm a little bit nervous because it's my first day at class. You know, it's the first day of school, so I wanted to make sure, you know, I'm, I'm right where I need to be. If you notice, I'm the only one here, Professor. Uh, it goes to show you. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I put the billboard out. I said class in session. I don't, I don't know where everybody went. I care about the education. They care about the clout. They do it for the followers. I'm doing it for learning experiences. Exactly. People do anything for clout. So that's Thank already you. a gold star for you in my book. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm excited to learn. You're excited to learn? Okay. Well, before we even get started in class, what do you know about BTS? If anything. You know, uh, what do I know about BTS? All right. I know that there are seven of them. Okay. For starters, that's good. Well, that's more than I do. Some of them singing. Some of them be out here rapping. Okay. You know? Uh, I know they started off very young. Yep. I know there's a rap line. They were all popular in underground hip-hop. And I know there's some singers. There's somebody that can hit some really high notes, too. Yes. that We'll get into that in a little bit, but... Yeah, carpool karaoke's fire, too. That, that's that's, that's what did it for me. That's what got the people to know my strengths and weaknesses. When I saw my yeah, man. my man all the way on the right, his name is Jungkook, right there. Oof. Those vocal tones? Game changer. Yes. Yes. For sure. For sure. For sure. When they say JK, they don't mean just kidding. Uh, <laughs> they don't mean that much, you know? <laughs> No, no jokes in class. No jokes in class. We got to pay attention. Wait. All right. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Listen. We got... I know there's uh, RM. Okay. Rapper. Rapper. You got the homie V. He likes the R&B voice with it. Yep. Uh, you have the uh, the youngest one is the, the vocal, not the vocal leader, but he's like the singing leader, you know? Right. He's the youngest. Of the the youngest. He can sing. He can do his thing. Uh, yeah. One of them's like super duper attractive, like to a lot of people. Yeah. Baby, I look good. I look handsome. Oh, we'll get into that. I'll I'll break it down for you. Don't okay. worry. I'll break it down for you. I'm excited. You're excited. Okay. So you got your pen. You got your. You got what, what? What what are we doing in class? We're, we're having food. We're we're making a meal in class. It's Doritos, bro. Did you get that from the vending machine? Did you get that from outside? There's a sign on the door when you came in. No uh, outside food allowed. What about a 
sign on the door. We yeah. are we are quarantined inside. We can't go nowhere. But there's if you look, there is a sign. It says no outside food. Professor, I got my baby pictures over here to the right. What are you talking about? Okay, well I got a 2014 Forest Hills Drive, double platinum, probably triple platinum, but no features. And you want to know? You know what else you got on your wall? What is it? College dropout. Yes. Is that what you want me to be? Uh, no, we haven't even started, so I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't suggest you drop out. Okay. Thank. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Breaking the rules, telling me how to not run my class. You guys see this? All right. All righty. So. You knew a little bit of the band members, which is good. I'm going to break down pretty much their names. I'm not too familiar with their actual pronunciation of their real names, so I'm not going to get into that. I'll just do their stage names and a little fun fact, probably like two or three. Not even going deep dive, just to the basics. That's okay with you. Okay. All right, so we're going to go with RM. You knew he's the leader of the group. RM, yes. Yep. Sure. It, it used to stand for... Rap Monster, RM. Because, you know, when he's got those bars and he's in his bag and those ciphers, he's in his bag and those ciphers. And his bag like the bottom of some, uh, like the fries at the bottom. Yes, yeah, still in his bag like the fries at the bottom, exactly. Okay. But as he's grown and he's evolved as a person, he wants to change that RM, the meaning, to real me. Because he wants to show not only the fans, but... The people around him that I'm not a monster. This is who I am. I literally I am who I am. So just embracing pretty much my characteristics. He's a real one for that. He's a real one. He's a real that one. That was the one that was in the, the passenger seat. Yes, with the yellow. Okay. In the yellow, yes. Oh, friends. Friends, yeah. No one told you like was gonna be this way. Your job's a joke, you broke your love life be your way. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. That's it. The other members didn't know the lyrics, so you're already a step. That's it. Thank you. Oh, you got it. Another gold star. Another gold star. Now, oh, now lose one after eating in class, or we, we still can keep this one? That was a warning. You know what? You, you, I'll give you two. You have two. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Uh, RM, he knows English the most fluent out of all the groups. So he feels that pressure when interviews most of the time because not only is he speaking on behalf of himself, he's speaking on behalf of the other members. So if one... I feel like RM of the class. I'm the only one speaking on behalf of the students. Exactly. Student of the game, you're just ahead of your class. I got it. I got it. Yeah. And oftentimes he feels that pressure because he's speaking on behalf of the other members. So if there's a journalist out to get BTS, per se, and they're taking another member's quotes out of context, RM not only has to speak on behalf of them, but he has to clear up things because he's the only one that knows English the best and can translate, you know, full sentences, phrases, stuff like that. Hold on. I just have to, I have to um, top my sneaker real quick. Sneak Sneaker? Yeah, I just got to top my sneaker. Just one, one second. I just got to tie it. All right. Is that a bag of chips? No, I'm tying my sneaker. I hear you chewing. And there's a napkin. Tie my sneaker. Tie your sneaker. Okay. One more strike and that second gold star is getting removed. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Sorry, Professor. No games. No games out here. Alright. And the best part about RM when he gets into that bag and he's creating music. The name of his studio is called The Archive. Okay. Yeah, get it? Archive, you know. Yeah. Studio, Archive. Archive, yeah. Okay. And this is just like basic, probably top three off the top of my head. This isn't really deep dives. I don't want to overwhelm everybody all at once. This is just, you know, someone's like, hey, you know, RM or BTS, you could just be like, hey, yo, boom, this, that, and the third, you know? Or boom, RM, vocal leader, leads the pack in the interviews. Right. Knows the most English, friends intro. Also, he's the, the studio's called the Archive. Yep. He goes by Rap Monster, but he wants to be known as Real Me One Day. One day? No, it's 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 right now. We're, we're living in the present. Well, one day is technically the present. Today's one day. 
Today is one day. Tomorrow is another. Exactly. Yeah. Another one. Another one. Shout out to Khaled. Shout out to Khaled. All right. You get the gist of RM. You need me to clarify anything. Do you have any further questions that I may be able to answer, but the comment section could probably clear it up? Real quick, is, is everything that you're saying here going to be on the test? Because I just I don't want you to be one of those professors that start to, start to give me questions you didn't say. Because if you're over here trying to okadoke me, you can't okadoke me, okay? No magic tricks. If everything that's here is going to be on the test? Listen, whatever comes out of my mouth is projected to come on the test. So just pay attention. Okay, yep. All right, now you threw it in the air. Now I got to see you catch it. All right, there we go. All right, that was one rapper. We're going to move on to the next rapper. Before I even test you, how many rappers are in the group in total? Uh, you got, you got. You don't need to say, you don't need to say their names. You can just tell me a, a number. Just throw out a number. I'm going to say, I'm going to say four. Three, three, yeah, three. Three, yeah. Yep, three rappers, four singers. Got it. Yep. Got it. Okay. Next one, his name is uh, Sugar. 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 Yeah. So it's Sugar. A, yeah, it's a play on the words, you know, shooting guard, because, you know, he's a baller, you know, shooter, shoot, and uh, he's got the scat. He's got the scat. He's a, he's a baller. He's a baller, yeah. He didn't go to Kentucky, but he's a baller. Okay. He's a baller, yeah. Baller. He's a baller, right. yes. Yeah, he's got the jumper. If you want, I don't know if he's D one like I am. You know what I mean? No, nah, he's pretty elite. Listen, we had a solid Skype conversation maybe two nights ago, and we pretty much put a whole highlight tape together, and it's on the channel. I mean, I'm sure he's pretty good, but um, yeah, I'm like one of the best basketball players in the world. That's not in the NBA, but that's a good fact, though, Fabrizio. Okay. All right, Sugar, he, uh, he's probably one of the most realistic people to date. Pretty much whatever he wants, he will speak it into existence. And he doesn't let little things pretty much stress him out of his ways. So, like, a lot of people then notice, like, in Sugar, his positivity. He'll come out, he'll be like, you know what, BTS, I want us to win the Grammys one day. I want us to have the number one selling album. I want us to be the number one group in the world. And pretty much he, what he sets his mind to pretty much will come to fruition. Okay. Yes. So he's all about that manifesting, you know? Exactly. What's here is going to come out to the universe. For sure, for sure. Okay. All right. Professor? Yes. My boiler room is starting to boil something. It's making a loud noise. Is this okay? Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Uh, I, I mean, it, it, it's your house, so you, you got to go. You got to go. I'm just asking you, is this a distraction to the rest of the students in the chat? Oh, I, I mean, there's no other students. You're the only person that actually acknowledged the email and personally showed up. So the, okay. the floor is yours. If you got to you gotta go, you got to go. Okay. I'll stay here for a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I respect it. No problem. Okay. Professor, you have something on the back. This, wait, there's something in the back of your room that's like crawling. So turn, yo, turn on the associate professor. Turn around. What? Are you eating? Oh, yo, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. No, no. We're not doing this. No, no. One star is provoked. You're done. That's it. Do you, do you, want, do you want me to finish the session? I made notes. Do you want me to finish the session? Sorry, sorry. Uh, well, folks, I'm here. Listen, you already paid me one way or another. The account is already transferred in my Venmo, so you ain't getting that money back. Good point. Exactly. So you, you want to teach this like a game? I can end class early. No problem. No problem. Professor, just want to learn about Shuga. Shuga. Okay, perfect pronunciation. You know what? That star's coming back. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He's an amazing producer. So the one thing with him and RM that, come, that compares to both of them is they have great influences. They're both rappers, so you know, the influences are literally up here. Okay. From the likes of, you know, Biggie, Tupac, Eminem, Kanye, Nas, Big Nas, not Little Nas, Big Nas, J. Cole, Kendrick, list, list goes on. You name it, highly acclaimed lyricist, and we got a question, yes. Is this going to be on the test? I'm only asking because you said a lot of names, and you weren't very clear on the names. Is this going to be on the test? 
Yes, it will be on the test. That's a big. That's a big part of their heritage. So yes. Could it be like one of those things, like name three? We'll we'll see how the rest of this session goes. I might be considerate on that question for sure. All right. Okay. Fun fact. Here's a fun fact about Sugar. He recently was in the studio with Bobby Tarantino, a.k.a. Logic. Our man Logic? Our man Logic, yes. They were in the studio cooking some shit up, man. Young Sinatra? Young Sinatra. Parts one and through four. Okay. Yeah. Right, logic. Yeah, logic. You don't put a nice big star in it because you know that could be on the test. Who can relate? Woo! Woo! And if you thought RM Studio Space was a great name, Sugars is just as good. This one is pretty simple. It's titled The Genius Lab. That's where he cooks up. Don't know if Logic was in the Genius Lab. That I don't know as of yet. Army hasn't told me, but they collabed one way or another. Don't know if it was in his studio or Sh- Sugar's. So it's called the Genius Lab, though. Okay. Yeah. And Sugar, a big influence to him. I already mentioned it was Kanye West. That was, that was a big one. I was researching and comment section. Let me know. So yeah. Kanye West. Kanye West. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on to the third and the final rapper. He goes by the by. Oh, I can't even speak. Goes by the name J Hope. J Hope. J Hope. Yeah, J Dash Hope. He was the one actually in the carpool karaoke, sitting literally in the center. He was like. Ah. Really hard question. Like I don't know, you gotta really make. Sure. Okay, never mind. Boys. You know, yeah, yeah. You get tested by patients, so. <laughs> I get what you did there. Testing, test patients. I get it. He's got a contagious personality. So anytime you're around him, if you're literally having the worst day of your life and you see him, you're literally just flipping that switch like the TikTok meme, and it's just spiraling one thing after another. You're in the best mood of your life. Did I, did I say something to confuse you there? I don't know what you just said. Can you say it again, Professor? I think I think you're coming in a little bit. Like, what happened? Did I stutter? I I I I think I'm, I think my I think my cam is free. I might have to leave cl- class. And the connection's coming in fine. There's not even a single stutter. Hello? Oh, wait. Oh, it's good now. Oh, yeah, no, that, it was, now it's good. You know, it was, it was freezing for a little bit. It's actually good, right? It's perfect right now. It's perfect. Okay. It's perfect right now. All right. Yeah. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. What we got there, buddy? Hey, hey, hey. All right. It's already... He already swallowed it. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, Professor. My thing is rewinding from the old clip. It shows me eating Doritos. What is how, going on? How is this possibly rewinding if it's a live stream? I don't know. It's just, it just showed me eating a Dorito. That's so unlike the, the new it, me. It showed you eating a Dorito. Last That's time you were eating a Dorito, you told me there's something crawling behind me. There was. It went away. It went away. Is that so? Table. All right. Anywho, did you understand my first part of my J Hope soliloquy? Yes, like um Cause if apparently if it was breaking up, I'll gladly repeat myself. You keep repeating yourself? Sure, I will repeat myself. He has a contagious personality, okay, Mr. Aiken? He's got a contagious personality. So anytime, literally if you're having the worst day of your life, if you approach J Hope and he asks you how your day's going, and you're not having a good day. He literally will flip the switch, like the TikTok meme, for the second time I've said this. Gotcha, so don't mess with J-Hope. I guess, if you want to. But if you do mess with him, he'll bring you into a better spirit. Okay. 
Yes. Because his personality often it comes off like a goofball. So if you, you know, you just want to just have some fun. He's that one friend that you call and you just want to, you know, just get a good laugh at it too. Okay. Yeah. Sort of like my YouTube channel. Yes. You yeah, of course. Link in the description. Link in the description as always. All right. All right. He is, uh, saw a glimpse of this actually in the carpool karaoke, but he is, he's the dance leader. So he pretty much choreographs all the, the dances for the group. And he pretty much he's he's known to do this, and he's a master at it because he knows literally everyone in the group their strengths and their weaknesses. So if there's two or three members, I don't know, I'm just throwing out a number here that lack a specific dance move to a particular song, and then the other members know it, instead of practicing over and over again that same routine. He'll have those experts reach out to those members that are lacking, and they work on that particular move. That way, you know, system just fastens the process, I guess, and it's just more efficient. Okay. Yeah. So that's J Hope. Cool beans. Cool beans. Cool beans. Yeah, J Hope is the the goat, and he's a lot of people's biases. Which, if you don't know what that means, I'll clarify that pretty much towards the latter half of my uh, presentation to you. Right, a lot of people's biases. Yes. Nice. That's all the rappers. Do you have questions, comments, concerns before we transition to the singers? Nope. I nope. feel like I know everything I need to know. Okay, so if I quiz you right now, you get 100? 100%. Okay. We're not, we're not going to do that right now, but just so we know. Okay. Okay. Go. All right, we're going to move on to the singers. The first one we'll get into, his name is Jin. So, you know, it's like the alcoholic drink. That's how you pronounce it, Jin. But it's J-I-N. Well, Professor, I've never drank alcohol a day in my life, so I wouldn't know which we're talking about, but okay. I'm not clarifying that you're an alcoholic. I just said it's pronounced like the alcoholic drink. Okay. Yes. Well, again, I wouldn't know what that is because all I drink is water. Okay. As you write... Fully should. Alcohol is not good for you. Yep. Yes. Okay, good. God damn it. You're eating again. How many times do I got to say this? No, I'm just drinking. I'm full. Professor, I'm sorry. I heard you chewing and the bag of Doritos again. No, no. I, the bag of Doritos is thrown out. So if, there's a, if you go on the floor right, right now and you pick something up. I'm sorry, Tim. All right, Jid, he's got a master's degree in film and visual arts. Okay. Yeah, so my man Jin, he was, he got the master's degree while BTS was literally rising and it was approaching its peak. So it's kudos to him because, you know, he got the ma the master's degree. So if anybody else was in that predicament, they would have been like, you know what? School right now, it's got to be on hold. I'm getting all this money. I got all this fame. I got all the success. Mm -hmm. School could be pushed to the side. But he literally grinded school with rehearsals, tours, all that good stuff. Yeah. He's not out here sneaking Doritos during class. Well, you know what? I have you know I have a fully functioning YouTube channel while being in class as well. As do I, which is why I'm the professor and I'm conducting these seminars, which people pay me a wealthy penny for. Okay, well, you, you, you know I paid you, so. Yep, one of one. No turning back. All right, next. During his free time, my man Jin, he learned to play the guitar. Look at that. He learned to play the guitar. And BTS, they have this app. It's called Weverse. It's pretty much like the fans' one-on-one -on -one interaction with the fans and members of the, the group BTS. And on that app, he has a show. It's called Eat Jin. And it's pre pretty much him, you know. It's a cooking show. It just eats. Demonstrates how to cook food. I believe there's some mukbangs on there, too. Yeah, you know, I like a good yeah. And last but not least, his nickname is WWH. Can you guess what WWH stands for? Win while happy. No, but they do have that winning attitude, so you'll get half a star. 
Okay. If you had a guess, could you guess potentially what those letters stand for? No. No. Okay. So it stands for Worldwide Handsome. What was the snap for at the end? You got to say it like that? They, they, they know. The, the meme's coming up. They, they know what it means. Baby, I look good. I look handsome. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Worldwide handsome. handsome. His... That's interesting. That's one of my nicknames too. Mm -hmm. Shout out to all my, shout out to all my BTS fans in the comments. Like, oh, he is handsome. All right. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. What's, uh, what's the next part of the lecture, professor? His face is scientifically proven to be the most beautiful. Scientifically proven. Yes, experts have analyzed the facial features of Jin, and he literally is worldwide handsome. All right. All right. So yeah, he's got the the one up over you right now. All right. Yeah. We'll, see. we'll have to check that out. Jin. Yeah, Jin. Jen, a man of many talents. Yes, actually, I have a picture of his face on my phone, if you would like to check it out. Uh, why not? Listen, because you know, this is my class, so I'm allowed to have phones. Okay, that that is a cute baby picture. And he I was voted most likely to be handsome. When I was in Here middle school. Go. Look at that. Look at that face. All right. Look at that. I can see a resemblance between between us. I, I, I don't see it. Jin's got the, the over edge on you right now. Got to be honest. Right. Oh, I have pictures of the other members if you weren't familiar with how they looked. Professor, I think the only thing is class is supposed to end at a certain time, so I don't think we have time for that. You're telling so, me how to run my class. All right, you know what? We won't show the faces then. You could just, if I put a picture of them on the test, you wouldn't know. So, you know what? All good. <laughs> you know what? It's okay. We'll just skip it. We'll go to the next one. It's okay. Go on to Jimin. Jimin. He is super empathetic and very observant, which you clearly are not. <laughs> oh, oh, I have you know something. I'll have you know something, Professor. Last class, I sat through a 36-minute introduction video proudly, okay, because I wanted to learn. And at the end of the day, let me tell you something else, Professor. I'm here. I'm here today. No other student showed up to this. Every other student's out looking for Cloud. Every other student is currently at home making BTS reactions for Cloud, for views. And what am I doing right now? I am sitting here learning the basics, learning the 101s about this fantastic group because I want to know who they are here. I want to know who they are here. That's what I care about. I care about here. And Eden Doritos. Oh, that's what UK stands for. You know? And Eden Doritos. Well, you know, everybody likes a snack. Actually, I'm actually paying, I'm paying tribute to, uh, I'm paying tribute to Jen. I'm paying tribute to Jen, because Jen likes to eat. He has a cook show, eat Jen, this eat Anthony. All right? All right. It doesn't make sense, but all right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll let it slide. So Jimin, he's a, uh, we said he's super empathetic and he was observant. He tries his best at everything. Some would say he's a perfect, uh, perfectionist. You gotta respect him for that, for sure. Respect. R-E-S-B-E-C-T. And if you mess with him, he's got a black belt in Taekwondo. Mm. I know somebody with a black belt. Not me. Not you. Actually, uh... You pull out a belt? If you pull out a belt, I will give you... Plus six stars. Well, this isn't a bell. Is it wood? Well, Professor, this is me right over here. Okay. And uh, that was me when I had a white belt. See, he's got the black belt. That was beginner's uh, luck well, I don't have that photo. We weren't taking pictures at that time. All right. I'll take your word for it. Plus five. 
So you wouldn't be drinking all that water if you were eating salty Doritos in my class. Sorry, Professor. Hate to see it. Empathetic, observant, perfectionist, black belt. Hate to see it. All right, next one, which pretty much he's a he's a mystery amongst a lot of people. His name is V. Straight up, letter V. 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 That boy can sing. That boy V got the R and B vocals. He got the V. 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 He can sing. Do re mi fa so la ti do. Sorry, Professor. He's more of an active learner rather than a visual learner, which usually is key because, you know, nowadays it's the opposite. A lot of people are more of a visual learner than an active learner. So he's got the, the reciprocation of that energy for sure. I agree. I'm more of an active learner as well. It goes both ways for me, so. Yeah, because this is visual. I don't know if this visual is really helping. But you're actively learning. You're writing stuff down, I would hope, unless you're doodling, but. Well. Oh, can't see it. Can't see it. Oh, well. Sorry, it's my camera. Hate to see it. What else we got here? Oh, he enjoys a solid photography sesh. So he goes out, and he, you'll see him just snapping pics left and right. All right. Hey, hey. <laughs> nah, nah, a scratch. A scratch. Hey, hey. Yeah, a scratch. Yeah, you good, Professor? You got what you were looking for? Yeah, we, it, we were good. It was just my uh, my wife was calling me. My wife. Oh, okay. Got yeah. it. You know, right. kids were quarantined, you know. Gotta, gotta, gotta watch them, right? Okay. Photography. Photography, yeah. He takes a, takes pride in his photography. Got it. Yeah. And last, but certainly not least in the group... His name is Jungkook. 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 He was the one in the carpool karaoke who sang those vocal tones that could have potentially broken the windshield. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, if you subscribe to my channel, Anthony Aiken Jr., subscribe today. That's Anthony A-I-K-E-N-J-R. Why aren't you subscribed? I know you are. Why aren't you here subscribed? What's going on with that? You should subscribe to the channel today. You might remember this. Who is that? Can I do it again? Who is that? Something I'm famous for now. You want to know what oh. I'm famous for? Yeah. You love to see it. All right. If you say that a lot. Don't co say that. Comment section knows. Comment section knows. If you know, you know. You love to see it. Shall I continue? Okay. I'm sorry, Professor, for interrupting the class. Yes, please. You know. Right? This, you hate to see it. But me, you love to see it. Uh, Jungkook, unlike you, he's a very quick learner. Very quick, he listens on tasks. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. All right. A little bit of shade right there. Okay. He's a definite gamer. Gamer? He can't beat me. It's okay. I guarantee he can beat you in Fortnite. He'd probably beat Fortnite. Exactly. Okay. He's a man of many sports. And whatever sport he does... He does it 110% and is probably better than you. Archery, track and field, basketball probably, baseball, you name it, he's probably better. Question, yes, you answered. Professor, I just want to make sure because earlier you did mention, and I'm only mentioning this because I paid close attention to uh, what you say. Um, when you ask this question on the test, you can't say basketball player because I then have the option to say both Suga and Jungle. Well, so, if you paid attention, I said he's not a basketball player. I said he takes part playing basketball. So if you put a sport in front of him, he is potentially better than you at that sport. Okay. Yes. There's the what it sounds like to me is 
He's athletic, but he's not shooting in the gym on a consistent basis to beat Anthony Aiken in the game of 21. He could beat Anthony Aiken in a game of 21, yes. But he's just one of those. He's got many hats. So if you give him a ball, whether it's basketball or baseball, pretty much he flips the switch and he's pretty much the best player in any sport professionally. That's Jungkook. Interesting. Yeah, so he doesn't stay in one lane. He's uh, he's out here. He's out here. Yeah, yes, he's swerving. He's out here. It's more of a control. A bad driver. What you're doing, yeah. Lanes. But he's uh, he's like speed racing, so he's like. Yeah. And he probably has my favorite studio name out of the other two that I mentioned. And his goes by Golden Closet. Oh, I like that. Yeah, the Golden Closet. Golden Closet. Well, Professor? We ain't done. Don't know where you're going. I got. It's been a long course. <laughs> Just people gotta go. People got things to do. Cases gonna go. We in quarantined. Where are we going? <laughs> Upstairs in my bed. Sleep. It's nine thirty in the morning. What are you sleeping to? Well, professor, here uh, uh, is actually nine nineteen p.m. and. You know, I just want to make sure that I'm well prepared for the test. Okay, I mean, if you don't want to know the, the fandom lingo, by all means, go. Oh, okay, Professor, tell me the fandom lingo. Go ahead, let's go ahead, get it over with. Do uh, it. All right, it. all right, fine, you, you tossed my hand with this one. Just for that, we got another picture to show on the phone. Okay, here we go, I, I, I love this. Look at this. I'm a 65-year-old man, and I got a, a, an iPhone X. Shout out to my niece for getting this for me. Uh, here we go. This is the BTS official logo. Hey! Yo! Yo! Huh? This is the official BTS logo. Look, my screen is going black. Got it. Okay, official BTS logo. Those lines right there, those... I believe they are... Are they trapezoid? I, I don't know the shapes. It's been a while since I was in geometry. But there we go. Got it. Okay. The name of the fan base is titled ARMY. Capital A-R-M-Y. ARMY. Not THE ARMY. Straight ARMY. Okay. They have a saying, which was originated by... The man, the myth, the legend, V. Oh, I know this one. It, it's I purple you. I purple you, yes. I know that. Who, who made that? Who made that again? V. 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 Yes. V. 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 Yes. Pretty much, it essentially means you know, because purple is like the last color in the rainbow. So you know, right to the end. You know, I love you. I trust you with everything. You know, it's right here. It's right here with it. And then there's two popular terms that I've been seeing a lot. It's bias and bias wrecker. So bias is pretty much the one member in the group that you gravitate towards and you consider that to be your favorite. And bias wrecker is pretty much the second closest member that's your favorite. But depending on, you know, the day, your mood, whatever you may feel, that second member that's just below your favorite could overtake and be your favorite. So it's like 1A, 1B, pretty much. Got it. Oh, I mean, wow, would you look at the time? We have officially run out. Oh, uh, man. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I know. I know. You, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Well, Professor, I'm going to take some time to, uh, to study this, and uh, I can guarantee you that I will ace this exam. All right. Okay, I might throw in some bonus questions. I'll come up with a... Tonight. Thank you. Well, for you tonight, for me, you know, this morning, because, you know, we don't do late nights over here, you know, I'm a 65-year-old man. So it is what it is. That sounds tough. Yeah. Sounds very tough. Sounds tough, you know. 
Yes, yes. My, my wife has to talk me in at night. The kids I, are screaming. I don't think I need to know all this. I think that class is, uh, I think this is enough for the class period. Okay. And uh, I think we should go ahead and wrap this one up. All righty. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed me being a quote-unquote professor to my student of the game right here, Anthony Aiken Jr. Job well done. Job well done. Yes, I commend you, you know. Professor. I, not, I won't, the professor left, but uh, okay. this is this is for, uh, Fabrizio Salerno here right now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so uh, right. you, got, you have a question to the professor? I could, I could send them a No, memo. I mean, we, we're good. Is it cool if I get my Doritos? Well, I mean, he left, so he, he can do whatever right. you got to do. Yeah, the professor, that professor was very rude. Um, so if I came across rude in any way, it's because the professor was rude. Oh, uh, he was wilding? Yeah, he was wild, Bro, he was looking at me, don't eat Doritos. You know what I mean? Talking the, about being quiet in class. The, the vending machine's right there. Well, why is he telling you not to eat Doritos? It's, it's right there. It's literally in the classroom. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Yes, yeah, so I appreciate you guys liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. If you're new to the channel, you're seeing this video for the first time, and you appreciate the content, not only subscribe to my channel, subscribe to his channel as well. Let him know what the name of your channel is, by the way. Name of my channel is um, Anthony Aiken. It's at the bottom of the screen that you see down there. They added JR. So it's Anthony Aiken JR. And the link will be in the description. And uh, I'll also have like a pin, uh, the pin comment will probably be it. Subscribe to your boy. Join the team. You think I'm saying? We do, yes, we do, join we the, the team. team on YouTube. Yeah. Have fun. Doing our best to give you the best content possible in times of quarantine. This is literally the most efficient way to do it. So uh, whenever this thing blows over, we'll, more collabs are on the way for sure. Any last words? Just a... uh, my last words. You know, I'm I'm learning, um, and I'm taking the time. I'm serious, seriously. You know, this this is kind of joking around, but we actually are taking the time out to kind of learn and understand something that we actually have no clue about. You know, because a few weeks ago, I knew nothing about BTS. Same. Mauricio knew nothing about BTS. Nothing. So you know, all the jokes that we did earlier and the characters is cool and all, but we actually really want to learn. Want to be educated on something that we're listening to. And uh, Fabrizio is going to be covering everything BTS. Uh, me, personally, on my channel, you'll see more so the hip-hop side of things. Uh, because, you know, I'm a, I do hip-hop myself. So you'll get that kind of edge on my channel. And uh, all in all, you'll just get, like he said, entertaining, unique content that you're only going to get from us. Because we're doing more than just reactions. We're going to give y'all content y'all never seen before regarding BTS more. All right? So, yeah, again, Anthony Aiken Jr., please subscribe. Subscribe to my homie Fabrizio if you haven't already. If you haven't done so already, words. yes. Last words. Um, number one, I purple you. Number two, I want to get big enough to challenge uh, Suga and Jungkook and basketball. Okay. And, uh, me too. Me and Fabrizio versus Suga and JK. Let's get it done. You see the highlight tape. You already know what I'm bringing to the table. So there you go. Uh, follow your boy Instagram and Twitter, underscore Fabrizio13. Link in the description as always. Send it over to him. Oh, yeah, Anthony96JR. Okay, follow me. There we go. Yes. Uh, Thank you guys so much, and uh, until the next video, see you guys later.